This is the earliest footage I have with a definite date on it. It's got Christmas 1930 scratched on one of the frames. These are obviously some ancient relatives. I'm not sure who they are, apart from the fact that they look like they've just stepped out of a Steinbeck novel. Now we're on the, uh, a trip to the Yu Yangs. That's that up there. Mum coming out of a cave. Fixing an Austin 7 engine. That's Dad there fixing Austin 7. And now having a little uh, paddle. And he's got to dress properly with a suit and tie for rowing. Now on the way to Wilson's Promontory. It was quite hard to get to Tidal River in those days. You had to drive through tracks and open gates. This would have been told anyhow, just from what I heard listing uh, when these movies, movies were shown uh, years ago in the lounge room on the wall. You had to drive across the beach to get to uh, the prom. And that's definitely the prom, isn't it, with those islands in the background. It would have been quite an adventure in the Austin 7. It went everywhere, apparently. Dingley Dell, the home of uh, Adam Lindsay Gordon, where he was lived at some stage. And that uh, must have been visited on the way to Mount Gambier and Blue Lake. There's the tower, it's still there. Much the same up the top too, really. I'll just give a casual commentary on anything interesting that comes up on these films uh, regarding places. The people, of course, mean nothing to anybody. Um, I know a few of the faces, uh, apart from my parents, but it's all pretty vague. Uh, you must remember these people are long gone. And uh, these are films of them in their early 20s, probably 21, 22, something like that. There's my parents there. And now visiting Tatanooga Cave. More of Blue Lake. And now some motorbike racing at the Phillip Island cycle track, as it was back then. breakfast before continuing on the Yarra track which doesn't exist anymore because it's underneath the Upper Yarra Reservoir and has been flooded for the last 60 years. There's a popular track to the Yarra Falls which still exist but they're in the catchment area and it's illegal to go to them anymore. You don't need sound to know what the old man's saying here. There were bad fires in Gippsland in 1932. Rare footage of the narrow gauge railway system used in the New G Paltown area for timber getting before it was all wiped out in the 1939 fires.
There are some operating oil wells in Gippsland in the early 20th century. Henley on the Yarra drew big crowds. This was an important ship. I think it might have had something to do with the Duke of Gloucester visit. A visit now to the early city of Canberra. This would be in the Grabhind region of Victoria. A tennis match from 1931. I don't know where these beach huts are. Seems like the camera wasn't loaded properly and some light got in the canister, but anyway, this is the original township of Walhalla before it was mostly burnt down in the 39 fives.
fish and chips in real newspaper. There is a fascination with Cape Shank and every decade or so there is more footage of Cape Shank than the latest being in colour in the 1950s. Also, the bears at the zoo got filmed every couple of decades. They look very happy in the little concrete box. Well, there's even a zeb. Cockatoo and, oh, the giraffe got chopped. I don't know where this is, but possibly a guest house in the mountains somewhere. Bit of a step up from the normal basic camping holidays on the beach. I was told this is from a trip to the Hawkesbury River area in New South Wales. A bit vague on this location, it might be around the Goulburn River area somewhere. Have no clue who those people are, but the dog was called Lola. My mother and grandmother behind her, she looks old even then. She was about 40, I should imagine. My grandmother on the father's side, who I never knew because she died in 1942, always wore black. Witter's camping ground at Lake's entrance, it's still there in a more modern form. Mum attempting some gymnastics on the beach. And Dad doing the same. More scenes around Lake's entrance. Lunch at Witters. And a trip up Lake Tyres. This could be a day trip to one of those Gippsland towns, maybe Buchan or Brutham, around that area.
have no information on this footage, although I should imagine it's around Gippsland somewhere. Now back to the beach sports with the usual characters. An expedition to the Pyramids of Egypt. Or maybe just the cliffs along the Great Ocean Road. not sure where this aviation is taking place. I expect to see the Hindenburg, but it's the wrong country. Skiing, it looks like Mount Dongabuang to me. Now this is a very important event, the visit of the Duke of Gloucester to Australia in 1934. They're riding down Spring Street past Parliament House and there's the Duke waving.
even a biplane fly past. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into the lives of some young people in the early 1930s. They are not the people I knew many decades later. Years of depression, wars, bringing up families, work commitments had erased any youthful exuberance that ever existed, as evidenced here in these faded images of the past. <laughs>